there's a jump shot. Was that a jump shot? <laughs> jump shot. Jump shot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Lance Anthony, CH Monshot, and tonight I'm glad to present you episode 2 of How to Be an Effective Commander. This time it's building a team. So, to give you a bit of a, of a background on this, I was playing with my good friend Nuts on, on a live stream, and I want to thank everybody that uh, has been watching this period here. I'm, I really appreciate all the support and all the nice feedback I've gotten as well on, on all my latest videos here, I, and I really appreciate it, and it's really a pleasure doing it. So, let's, uh, let, let's keep going here and then um, let's get uh, into this stuff so the team uh, nuts and i were playing with here were really in trouble we have been playing a couple of games where we had kept on losing and the round before this we managed to defend on uh, on apache snow and it was a really close call and, uh, and we managed to hold the enemy up so we had to start attacking here and the problem is that this was a really divided team there had been a lot of team switching and there had been a lot of like negativity going on but i managed and nuts and i managed to to get it stabilized and and started to wanted to start to push back so we decided to attack way city might have been smart might have been dumb but but that's uh, that's kind of where the vote ended so we kind of had to deal with that i took the commander and nuts took a squad leader and we decided to attack and, and do whatever we could so um, one thing you can say in the uh, rising storm to Vietnam is that the uh, southern side, the Americans say, have uh, an advantage on the firepower. You have quite a lot more assets, aggressive assets, uh, spooky napalm uh, artillery. In this uh, sense, it was early campaign, so we only had napalm and uh, and artillery. So, you know, but but that's still more than the uh, the other side has. So so we, you know, I would say that when you play a map like this. If you're not able to really roll over the enemy team and really put the pressure on them, then you should just see more if you could hang back and, and kind of win the firefight. You know, see if they will be aggressive and try and push you. I was looking at the enemy team and I saw that, uh, for example, uh, uh, Professor t had joined, you know, you know him. Uh, he's actually a very, very skilled player. I'm, I'm actually trying to get a, a video from him so we can do like I did with Gule, uh, Smoke Prophet and uh, and Plup. And, uh, and, and a lot of other players on, on, on that side that were very, very skilled. So we kind of had to be careful on that. If you, we as a team decided just to rush and keep like just really pressure that team they would have been able to come up behind us they would have been able to flank us and we would have had a really uh, crucial ticket bleed and we would run out of tickets i guarantee it and and you can kind of see in the beginning of the game here how we're actually getting really cut down so we start with the you know between 100 and 150 tickets more than the enemy and that is really fast you know really really fast it's getting cut down a lot so we really had to be careful for this so so i tried to get the team to advance very carefully every time we kept a point i wanted to make sure that our team kind of cleared the area behind us sometimes you're going to be seeing me really rushing really saying hey ignore the enemy leave them behind us and push forward but not in in this case because i knew that the enemy team had skill players enough to cut us down if we tried that so i really tried to get our team to stay back and establish this you know this this ability to, to kind of cut them down you could almost call it like a fire superiority that that's a stupid word but but we were actually able to set up in areas where they would come to us and you can actually see in the video that actually we actually managed to get them kind of to come to us uh, a and b were you know kind of okay with napalm and artillery the c cap uh, more difficult you're going to be seeing me dropping rt in behind and and that's that's where it's very crucial that you get a good cooperation between between the commander and the squad leader as as the americans because you're going to be having to need those rt marks so i got a good rt mark in behind c and i was able to continuously drop on that i really like those rt marks behind uh, the gatehouse because that's kind of a conversion point for the for the enemy team they they seem to run up there like that's a natural point to run also when when you have a team like this 
and you're trying to build up a team, you need to really try and direct the squad leaders. So that's why I, I kept on calling for experienced people, experienced people to pick the squad leaders and, and and let's play as a team. And we actually managed to slow it all down to a pace where we didn't have these insane ticket bleeds. We didn't let the enemy kind of stay behind us and really shut them down. And you could actually see that people really tried to communicate about what was going on they tried to communicate hey there's an enemy under the bridge there's an enemy over here and and i was really helped out by nuts you need to keep an eye out for him here in this video that how he kind of responds very very fast to to what i kind of i'm calling out so so i tell him hey we need to watch this uh, you know we need to push this flank uh, the far left flank of echo so we could push up and 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 get a um, and kind of a uh, kind of get a good uh, flanking position and and we managed to get echo and they were actually in delta and you're going to be seeing us <laughs> them really stacking up on delta you can hear the commander calling out to stack up on delta and and that that's really a mistake because that's such a building such a confined space so we were really able to cut them down and and one thing to notice is that even though they have really good players you can see t-back gets uh, close to 80 90 kills or something like that but our ability as a team to set up these positions to kind of win this kind of firefight and and, and and like again always try and get the team to play it to your advantage you need to try and set up the game so the enemy will come to you and if you can't rush him you need to see if your firepower can actually win the fight and and we were able to do that if the enemy team would have been less less inclined to come after us and try and kill us and get our like and come and kill us and they would have perhaps pulled back i actually think they would have been able to win but because i i think they were more focused on on attacking us because they they had been winning the entire campaign but because they were more anxious to to try and kill us then um then uh, then then you know then they lost their cohesion they lost their their team work and and we were able to cut them down pretty effectively so so that 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 was a really interesting game here and uh, and i have one more game after the, after this i want to i want to show the next episode um a defense on uh, on firebase georgina and uh yeah so so that more is coming up here and i i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you can take this lesson about building the team getting the coordination from the commander having a plan being able to coordinate that with the individual squad leaders and the squad leaders being able to manage the squads so that really demands communication from you as a commander to your squad leaders and try and tell them hey this is the plan not just tell them hey go there go there do that but tell them hey this is the plan we are going to have to try and do this and let's work together and and if you can do that i think it's gonna be golden and 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 it's gonna be really fun and you can kind of see it in here so yeah i really hope um that you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed this and please uh, subscribe to the channel Excellent. and like the video and uh, leave a comment down below i'm really interested in hearing about your experiences and all that stuff so please let me know what you think what your experiences are and what you thought about this video and uh, i'll see you on the next one job, bye bye Give me one. okay listen up this is gonna be a difficult one they're gonna try and infiltrate first of all we need to clear out the enemies that are left behind us uh, we don't want them uh, hitting us in the back also we need to attack in a wide front here guys we need to attack the underground and above so we need to be spread out and we need to establish like that we are winning those firefights. This is going to come down to the tickets here. We're going to get pressed. Door. One's going around the alley. We are going to get pressed on the fucking tickets here. So you really need to be on A game. We need to get those kills, guys. You can't be rushing forward. And I need updated item marks ready with the napalm. That's a good one, SL6. So guys, make sure you spread out nice and wide and we just need to keep killing. Set up a good field of fire and just keep killing, but keep moving forward here. We still need to cap some points. Tunnels are clear. Yeah, flamethrowers. Yeah, guys, it's going to be... Hey, it, it's not going to work if we have squad leaders that are actually combat engineers here. We're going to have to watch out. We need those flamethrowers working. Clearing the uh, underground, that shit.
Yeah, this is uh, this is difficult. Oh, guys, watch out. Art is coming behind. Whoever is behind the cap, I'm sorry. I didn't see you back there. Watch out. Get to cover. Where are, they, where are they shooting from there? We have someone spawn camping on the right side. Yeah, we are, we are, that's what I said. We need to clear out those people here or we just need to be able to keep moving up. Uh, they are going to be behind us there and we need to, to solve it. I'll tell them it's against the law. Someone go first. In the tunnel. Nade, 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 go back, go back, go. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good, guys. It looks like we're actually getting in. Uh, I'm going to give you Artie on the right-hand side. If we ain't on the left, uh, do you need it? Uh, yeah, guys, watch out. Artie's going to come in right-hand flank right now. Far right, squad a three smart. So whoever is pushing up there on the right, watch out. Guys, check out those tunnels. They're marked on the map. Grenadiers, you need to check out that shit. Oh shit. Yeah, if you're crossing the river right now, watch out. It's gonna be danger close. Whoever is the radio man, all you guys, watch out. Check your map, check your map, guys. Sorry, you need to move away. You need to move away from there, guys. Ah, nuts. Jesus. Okay, there it goes. Tunnels are clear. I was just uh, being inspired by Peanut. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Maybe I can get it quite easily. Okay, you're doing good, guys. You're doing good. Keep fighting for it. No, liver man, come back, come back. Oh, never mind. Yeah, watch out for that arty, right guys. Down, yeah. Don't run into it when it comes. My bad, bud. Okay, seven minutes to clear out the caps right now. Seven minutes. Us to attack that center building, please. We need uh, flamethrowers to attack the uh, the uh, citadel, like the center, the gatehouse. Scouts off, check your map. Scouts off, check your map. We're working on it. We're trying to get there. Good stuff. Grenade Good stuff. out, grenade out. Yeah, grenadiers, please focus down that uh, church tower or that uh, center tower. Please put some rounds up there. It said scouts up. You have a clear picture now. That's good effort, boys. Let's get that shit. If you're dead, hold your spawn. I'm ready to force you in. Squad leaders, there you go. Okay, just hold on guys, I'm gonna give you RT strike at the back behind the center building. 
Let's just hope the angle is good. Okay, guys, get ready to push here with this, uh, with this strike. Okay, here we go. I cleared the bridge. Let's go, boys. Get in there. Come on, clear it out, boys. Push on, push on to the next one. Push up here, guys. Push up here. Oh, my. And dude just, like, team killed me. Whom? I still can't believe they don't even know where you are right now. you okay just keep going with that wide attack guys just keep that wide attack going gatehouse open <coughs> gatehouse oh, shit, open i'm sorry It's all good, man. At least it was quick. Okay, guys, we need to keep moving up there. We have still, we're still getting good kills here, but we still need to put pressure on them uh, and actually take it, guys. Make sure you're not bunching up. Get those hand grenades across the walls on their side, please. And don't bunch up, guys. We cannot bunch up for five minutes and 50 to take this. Make, sh make sure we have a wide attack, guys. Squad two, if you guys can help out, push in from that side if possible. Put some pressure on him. Working on it. Good. Fighting for every inch. Good, guys. Yeah, get in there, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Let's hope we get it before they get out, see? There we go. Superb effort, guys. Excellent. Okay, same procedure. Spread out, guys. Make sure we clear out the guys behind us. Watch out for the traps. Now every ticket counts. We need to have a wide attack, far left, far right, and in the center. So, uh, yeah. There we go now. So, chat, I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys, if you're watching this I'm, and I'm not uh, seeing what you're writing, but I'm just uh, very focused right now. I hope it's... Uh, Billy, no. Okay, I'm looking for an Artimac somehow, somewhere. Guys, we need to we need to secure the far left, and we also need to secure the far right. The far left of Echo is very important; otherwise, they're just gonna, you know, keep on flanking us. I need marks on Echo and on Delta. I'm ready with Archie right now. 
Oh yeah, for the squad five, yeah. Just get some rounds out. Good effort, guys. We need to make sure we secure the far left-hand side of Echo. It needs to be taken right now. Yeah, Artie's coming in behind Delta. Yeah, check your map scouts up. We need those uh, those small buildings to the left of Echo to be secure. Otherwise, they're going to keep fucking with you from there. Shut up. Just shut up. Check your map. Check your map, guys. Scouts up. Scouts up. Okay, make sure you spread out nice and wide, guys. Gonna give them a napalm strike behind uh, behind Echo. Also behind Delta. Okay, boys, we need to start playing as every ticket counts. This is going to be a ticket game. Just see if you can outflank them. You boys and Echo, see if you can cut them off on Delta and simply bleed their tickets here. This is going to be a ticket game, I guarantee you. So play very cautiously. Just infilay, start infilaying the back of their caps and shit. We still don't need to put some pressure on uh, Delta. We need to get the flamethrowers in there, please. You ever been to Vietnam? All right, going out in the blaze of glory, no, bitch, come at me! Squatty potty's in a lot of AC. Was that just a jump shot? Was that a jump shot? <laughs> jump shot. Jump shot. Alright, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, you got two? Okay, okay, okay. Two right man. You, you can't fail with that. Right behind you, right we behind you. We need some people to actually move into Delta though. Yeah, they're, they're all of their commanders in there, everybody's in there. But we're doing good on the tickets, we're hammering their tickets. Mm. Good effort on the tickets, guys. Keep hammering their tickets, we listen up. They have everybody in Delta, their commander, everybody's in there. Fl flamethrowers, I really need you to big boy pants up and fucking nuke that place, please. I still, RT still and shit is still two minutes out. So machine gunners, we need maximum fire on Delta. Like you can penetrate that like a son of a bitch. So just fucking fire away. Jesus.
Yeah, we need to keep that fire going on the back of the cap, guys. We need to keep on killing them. We also need somebody to put some pressure on Delta itself, guys. I can keep the uh, tickets. Ticket gap. Yeah. Constant. Keep, so keep getting the kills, maybe. guys. Keep getting the kills here. They're not pulling back. Machine gunners, I really need you to put holes in that building. They're on the top floor. We need phosphorus. We need uh, rounds, high explosive rounds in the top floor of that building, guys. It's probably... Uh, I'm sorry. feel like maybe it's just uh, hold tight for now. Because if we move to F, then uh, the... Uh, They'll go through the tickets a lot quicker. No, no, look, we, look at that, we're getting them now. Good effort on that, guys. Just take it nice and slow. Hey, guys, every ticket counts. Just keep cutting them off. You're doing a fucking superb job right now of cutting them off. Just keep, guys, keep doing what you're doing. Just hold your positions. We're just splitting them. We are playing, we are playing the long game. They're fucking uh, playing the bullshit game here. So they're just getting fucked in the asshole. So just keep doing what you're doing. No, 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 we're gonna get this Delta. Yeah, watch out, RT strike, make sure you're spread out. Superb, superb guys. Make sure, watch out for those kills here. Okay, yeah, somebody... What the fuck? I think the the left flank is there watching it. Probably because we were... Uh, we've been okay, here for I need a while. updated item marks, boys, and listen up. I'll need you to just give me item marks. And again, guys, you're doing fucking superbly. This is beautiful to watch. Make sure that you update your item marks and just take it nice and easy. Just take it nice and easy, boys. We're playing the long game here. We have eight minutes. I need an Artimax smack on top of F or something like that. Okay, squad two, hold that, guys. I need updated Artimax and F. Just hold back, guys. Hold back. We just bleed their tickets. Stay back. They, they haven't figured it out yet. They haven't figured out what we're doing. So just stay back, guys. And just kill them from a distance. Yeah, just stay back. I'm gonna expend all uh, all the stuff I got on the cap here just to nuke them. We want to save as many tickets as we can here. Remember, the, every one you kill now is not gonna come back. Every one you kill now is not gonna come back. Oh, that was their commander. No tickets. Okay, I'm gonna be dropping Arty. Stab them all. I'm gonna be st uh, putting Arty at the back, guys. Just watch out. Just stay back, guys. Final objective. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that Arty as soon as it comes in. Yeah, Arty's cancelled. Yeah, what a solid team effort, boys. What a solid team effort. Everybody, come in and get your well-deserved head Good points. <sighs> That's it. No, no, no. Whoa, fucking team killers. Stop that. For the campaign, for God's sakes.